this mass masses of the rocket are divided into so this is the total mass of the rocket so mass of the rocket can be divided into mass of the payload mass of the structure plus mass of the propellant so these are the main three things which your rocket will include for example if we consider this rocket So this is your payload. This is your structure. So this payload, outer structure, whatever is there, that also comes under structure. And inside. So sir, the, the structure weight includes payload. Yes. Yeah. I I I'll tell that. I'll tell that. One second. So the major masses, if you take, major masses are payload, structure, and propellant. so in this e the yeah let me write that so ml is payload so this payload what this payload will include can you tell sir what sir depending on the mission whatever we have to do yeah depending on satellite, the mission etc maybe a satellite it may be a bomb it may be a explosive whatever it might be so this payload includes generally we are writing it as satellite or else for man mission it may be man capsule man capsule and if it is a missile then it includes explosive so i am writing etc here so all this will come under payload now what is structure so in structure structure will consist of the machinery whatever the engine machinery so engine machinery means this this thing uh, outer structure so it will include engine machinery it will include in liquid propulsion system if you consider so whatever the propellant which is there inside the tank so that is the propellant but the outside structure of the tank that also includes the structure that will also include in the structure so that is propellant tanks that will also include the beams if any beams are there that will also include the stringers so this is like single stage if you are considering two stages for example if you take a two stage system let me read right there will be some structure and after this again there will be a casing and again you will have nozzle and there will be a shroud and here so to transfer the operations here you will have stringers everything and top on this you will be having your payload so now this is a two stage vehicle so this is the stage 1 this is the stage 2 and this is the payload and in between so in between stage 1 and stage 2 you have these things right so these things are called as so according to this if you see he, these are the beams these are the stringers these are called as closed interstages generally these are called as closed interstages cas so in terms of this structure if you take so that is the beams or stringers which provide the strength so here also you have the beams and stringers here also you have this closed interstage and 
we have said mass of the total rocket will include mass of the payload mass of the structure and mass of the pill uh, propellant so mass of the payload we have said ml payload will include generally depends on the mission so it may be a satellite it may be a manned capsule it may be a explosive it may be a bomb whatever it might be so that is payload structure so whatever the outer structure is there which is supporting this payload or which is carrying this propellant that is the structure and propellant will include the mass of the propellant so generally that is the mass of the propellant sir so this propellant is basically solid propellant right because we are It, considering propellant tanks in structure propellant tank we are considering a structure but whatever the inside propellant is there that will come under the mass of the propellant itself okay sir. if you are taking a liquid propulsion system the structure whatever the gas bottles are there no sir i mean in hybrid rockets where well, there are both solid propellant is also there and liquid is also there okay at that time whatever the structure is there that will be considered as structure itself and whatever the pale, uh, propellant is there that will be considered as mass of the propellant okay sir if you are using uh, i understood your question if you are using solid propellant in the first stage and if you are using liquid propellant in the second stage so whatever the gas bottles those things are there those will be yes, considered sir. as structure and yes sir like in shuttles they use a solid rocket booster so that we will consider in propellant but the engine yeah, itself be... has a liquid propellant system so but that will come under structure thing, whatever the propellant it might be using whatever the structure which is supporting that that will come under structure and whatever the propellant is there that will be mass of the propellant yes sir so if you want to still understand just i'll show you some pictures and i'll explain you yeah so if you see so these are the different isro launch vehicles so here so this is the base shot so here you will be having the nozzle to support that nozzle that nozzle should not get damaged so for that and this is at the base right so then generally we call it as base shroud and so this is slv vehicle satellite launch vehicle aslv augmented satellite launch vehicle pslv polar satellite launch vehicle and gslv so geostationary satellite launch vehicle so in the in this we have different variants like this is mk2 see it means mark 2 and mark 3 so these are the different variants so in this satellite launch vehicle if you see it is a four stage vehicle so this is first stage this is second stage this is third stage and this is fourth stage and this is the payload so if these stages are one above the other then that is called as staging and if it is something like this so here if you see the total height of the vehicle is so this total height of this total launch vehicle or whatever the vehicle it might be it is 22.7 kg sorry 22.7 meters and if you take the lift off weight so lift off weight means it will include the total weight of the payload weight of the propellant plus weight of the structure so this total weight is 17 tons and the propulsion system which is used in this slv vehicle is all are solids and the mass payload mass so this payload mass is 40 kg so whatever is here that is 40 kg and the orbit to which this satellite can launch a satellite uh, this launch vehicle can launch a satellite is low earth orbit in a similar way if you see this second second picture 